All right, so back in the day when I was making videos with Elementor native functions, I came up with an effect that was pretty popular or started to be popular one, two years ago, and that is moving text on scroll. So as you scroll the page, the text would move left and right. And I think it's very interesting to have something like that on a simple website if you don't want to add too many moving parts to it. And I think this effect will have the same effect. <laughs> and again, it is based on the same principle of the moving text effect. And I have applied to this and it's pretty easy to do. I just uh, needed to adjust a few things. So yes, you have guessed right. We are going to be doing a moving image sequence left and right as you scroll on the page. And you've seen this on a word websites. They are all over the place. And I think this trend will still continue to be popular for at least one, two years from now on. So let's get into it. All right. So the first thing we are going to be doing is adding two containers, top and bottom, because we need space to scroll, right? So you always will have to have something top and bottom. Otherwise, this effect will not work as intended. All right. So let me go to my structure. And for some whatever reason, I just like to set any container to full width. So this is my process. All right. I'm going to set this to 100 VH and duplicate. And now we have two containers, top and bottom. And in the middle, we are going to be adding our container that will have our scrolling sequence of images. All right, let's add another container here. I could, I could have duplicated, I know. All right, I'm going to set it to 100 VH as well. Publish. All right, I think I have some allergy. Anyway, so in here, I'm going to add the media carousel. I have not tested this with anything else but the media carousel. So if you are in the mood to test it with something else, be my guest. All right. So initially I tested it with seven images. So I'm going to have seven images in here. Let's just do this. And I am going to add images, not in necessarily particular order or height or length or whatever. I am just going to randomly add images. So we just move fast with this but of course you can add your own images um go nuts <laughs> uh, also the good thing about choosing to work with the media carousel is that this has the option uh, for lightbox uh, where users can click on the images that you are adding to the carousel so if you do this, for example, go to the first image link and media file. Now the, the, the image will be clickable and you can have a better look at it. So if you have images that you want people to see better, I suggest you do this. All right. So I'm going to publish. Uh, let's see so far what we have. Nothing special. So this is what I mean, right? they can be accessed this way. All right, let's get out of here. And this can also be scrolled like this. So it's a very cool widget in my opinion. So we're gonna keep the effect as slide. I'm gonna have five slides per view, slides to scroll as well, five. I'm gonna set the height to 60 VH. Again, this very much depends on what kind of images you have. If you have more portrait images, this can be adjusted. If you have different orientation pitch, uh, images, again, you have to play with these settings here. And I'm also going to set the width to 100 VH. Now let's go to style and we can set the space between images to 20. I prefer it to be 20, but this is again, whatever you want it to be. <laughs> let's go to navigation. Actually, let's go to content and let's go to additional options. And we don't want arrows. We don't want dots. We don't want autoplay. We don't want anything. So turn off the infinite loop as well. Publish and you can 
do whatever you need to do here to see the images better there's so many other options that you can go through we're just going to focus on the basic functionality of this effect the rest is up to you all right so let's see how this looks so Im the images look like this so if you have images that look good on a vertical orientation that's fine if it's horizontal then you need to adjust it a little bit so how you would adjust it you go to uh, advanced and we change the width from here all right so the width we will play with the width of the images in a bit but for now let's go to advance and let's set the margin to percentage all right so i'm going to unlink this and i want to have here minus 200 and copy this and paste it on the other side as well and now our images are very very wide right uh, we don't want that so let's go to width custom and we can adjust them from here you can bring them down like this so this is what i meant when i said that you can play around with uh, this function in conjunction with these functions here as well so let me publish and let's see how this looks So if you want the images to have a longer length, you can do that from here. So for example, that image, we know that on the length of it is uh, on that orientation, horizontal orientation is, it looks like that, right? As you click, as I clicked on it, this is how it looks in the media gallery, the uh, media carousel as well. So we know. All right, so let's go to motion effects and turn scrolling effect on horizontal scroll let's say left this we are going to have it set to direction left when you scroll it moves to the left all right let's see and this is how it works all right this is not too shabby right the only problem is that if you have this very lengthy images you don't see too much of the images so i'm gonna go back and I would like to see all of them. Let's set this to 50. Let's see. Maybe 50 is good enough. All right. And I think I'm going to go down to 30. Five. Let's see. Yeah, it's it's OK. It's good. And I'm going to set the align self center as well. All right. Also, as you can see, we have a very, very nasty overflow here. And this is very easily fixable. Let's go to our container, go to additional options and set overflow hidden. And that's it. Pretty much that is it. And now we don't have that nasty thing happening and let's let's play around with these images let's make them even smaller oops let's go to media carousel and if you go down to 21 and let's adjust the height as well so you will see that i think we will need uh, more images so the smaller the the images the more images you need so you see if I continuously add images, they fill up the space. So let's see how this will load. I guess we could also increase our negative margin. And let's have a look. Yes. So it's a game of adjusting all these little functions so yeah this works properly yeah i think it's a very cool effect that you can implement on any website and make it look cool just like the text effect on scroll so let me know how you're gonna use it if you like it i will try to make the mobile version as soon as possible and have it on the website so you can download it but 
shouldn't be too difficult so i hope you enjoyed it if you'd like to see what else you can build with elementor watch this playlist here or here and if you have gotten any value out of this video please consider subscribing liking and sharing this video and i'll see you next time